Hey there, Logan here, professional barista for MajestyCoffee.com. Today I'm here with the Eureka Zenith 65E High Speed Espresso Grinder. Gonna go over its features, specs, give you a little demonstration, and help you decide if this is the right machine for you. Let's get started. All right, so this is the Eureka Zenith 65E high-speed espresso grinder. It's got 65 millimeter flat steel burrs. We've got this nice big three pound hopper up top. Comes with a digital display over here. Very simple, very clean. There's a single double dose button with a plus and minus up top so you can easily program it. Down below here, there's a nice fork to hold your portafilter in place for hands-free grinding. There's this beautiful light to illuminate the grounds as they're coming out, as well as an adjustable chute up here where you can point it in the direction of your portafilter to ensure your grounds are going into the center of your uh, basket. The hopper and topper are easily removable so you can do your routine cleaning. Another great feature being that when you do that, you don't have to worry about redialing and after as the stepless micrometric adjustment system on the side here adjusts only the bottom burr up and down. So when you go in for your routine cleanings, you don't have to worry about redialing in after all is said and done. And speaking of that stepless micrometric adjustment, it is fantastic for really fine tuning your espresso. And I mean really fine tuning it. Like earlier when I was dialing in, I actually made it too fine and only got two drops out. But this is a really good problem to have because it's way simpler to go in having it be too fine, simply coarsen it up a little bit and then my espresso is flowing beautifully after that and pulling really good shots. This being a high speed grinder, I will say it holds true to that as you can pull 18 to 22 grams in a little over five seconds and pretty much back to back to back. The 510 watt motor really powers through uh, the grinding process, making it quick and efficient. The ACE declumping technology on the inside keeps the grinds nice and pillowy and fluffy and flowing beautifully and Pretty much you can keep pulling shots and shots and shots and I wasn't seeing too much retention after a while, which is really impressive. We've got this nice aluminum body, this one coming in white, but it does come in a vast array of colors for your cafe needs. And the body is really heavy, really well built, really sturdy aluminum casing. So you don't really have to worry about this machine once you put it in the cafe, it is set and ready to go. And it looks beautiful from the customer side as well. I just wanna say the design being pretty classic and as a customer, when I walk in, it's just nice to see this beautiful design and see the beans in the hopper to know what you are getting served. On the front here, we've got that on off valve for the three pound hopper to allow you to easily remove it. A screw on the side if you want to make sure it doesn't get knocked over and stays in place, screw it in and it will stay nice and put. The general dimensions of this machine are 25 inches tall, nine inches wide and 10 inches deep. So pretty much will do great in a cafe. This is something if you do want to buy this for your home, you do need to consider it probably won't fit on your counter. But if it does, I still highly recommend this machine. It's been amazing for my setup and produces great quality espresso. So we've got this beautiful display up top here with the easy single and double dose buttons. And I'm actually a huge fan of this. It's just a really simple, clear interface and took me almost minutes to learn. Uh, something that frustrated me when working in cafes was some of the nicer grinders the features are great, but just learning how to use them is quite a curve. So something I really appreciated about this without even looking at the instructions too much was it's very intuitive to figure it out. Uh, just placing your portafilter down below quickly, making those adjustments with the plus and the minus, and everything is very simple, very light touch, which I really like. So now I'm gonna give you a little demonstration of how it works, what it looks like, what it sounds like, and pull some shots back to back to back to see what our differences in uh, dosage out is. All right, so let's run through a little demo for you just to give you some context. Uh, 
Got my Eureka over here. We got the Oscar II from Nuova Simonelli on the left. This is a great heat exchange boiler system where you can pull shots and steam at the same time. You can also find this machine on majestycoffee.com. So let's just pull a shot for starters. Earlier I said I dialed this in actually too fine. So I did coarsen it up a little bit and now I've got it pulling pretty beautifully. So let's give it a go. Got a double dose going on here. So that's what comes out. We got nice pillowy fluffy grounds. Let's see what we got. I got just about 18.6 and that's beautiful. I was pulling 18.7 earlier, 18.6, 18.7. Uh, what's going to really help enhance your game here is if you get a nice distribution tool, but not a biggie. All right, so let's give that a nice even tamp here. All right, let's see. Tear out my scale, get my timer ready. Start my timer. Beautiful crema developing. A nice even extraction with a beautiful ramp up in pressure, running just about 23 seconds. That's a beautiful shot. And 37's out. Wow, that is just amazing. It really holds up well as I pulled that shot earlier this morning. All right, some moment of truth here, bon appetit. That is a really nice shot of espresso. That's awesome. All right, so let's show you the grounds here. Just gonna grind onto a little plate. Show you the nice pillowy fluffiness of the grounds. And once again, that light really helping illuminate your work right there. And wow, if you just look at that, that's that's quite amazing. That's a really nice consistent grind and like I said earlier it can go much finer than this but when I had it finer than this I only got two drops out of my machine so that is a great problem to have for a grinder really that 510 watt motor here helps power through that espresso and gives you back-to-back -back consistency and yeah a great output I'm quite pleased all right, so let's show you the variations in our output here when we grind back to back to back. Let's say we're still aiming for 18.6, 18.7. So here we go. Eighteen seven, right on the dot. Dump that out, wipe that, make sure this is back to zero. And we'll go for that again. I've kind of got my fan on high here, so excuse the grinds flying everywhere, but it actually doesn't tend to do that too much, especially when you adjust your shoot accordingly. Another shot here, we got 18.8, so only 0.1 of a difference there. And one more. We got 18.9.19, so a little bit of a difference there, but that is back to back to back grinding, so that is pretty impressive to get that little of a difference between those shots. So as a barista that's worked on Malconigs, Nuova Simonelli's, Mazers, all sorts of grinders, I will say this is a very solid grinder and I'm not just trying to sell it to you. There are a lot of great features in both its simplicity and its really nice built-in intuitive features like this light, the nice display up here, the easy buttons. Yeah, the easy on off, I'd say. There's a lot of great things about this, the micrometric adjustments to really fine tune your espresso. 
and the price like you're really getting a lot of bang for your buck in this uh, grinder so I highly recommend it and it's sincerely improved my espresso game here all right so now let's decide is this the right grinder for you it's got those 65 millimeter very big flat steel burrs they're fantastic. They're gonna get you really, really fine without overheating too easily. So I'd say for me, this is definitely a game changer. Uh, this nice big hopper, so you won't have to refill it too often. This interface, though simple, is actually very user intuitive and I'm a huge fan. The lighting down here just really shows that extra attention to detail that they want you to be able to see the grinds that are coming out and feel proud about it. Having the burrs be easily accessible is another good one so you can do your routine cleaning and not have to redial in. Easy on off on the side here and it just quickly comes back on and is ready to go. Being able to pull back to back to back shots in five seconds or less is another game changer for me. I cannot stress how awesome that is. The declumping is great and I'd say over a period of time it does tend to get a little bit clumpy but that's pretty standard when considering higher volume espresso usage. Overall, I'd say this is a fantastic grinder. While it would do great in a home, I think it's gonna shine most in a cafe of medium, even high volume cafe. Really, this grinder is such a nice balance of timeless design and also very user intuitive features. And as a barista of almost a decade, I would be happy to work with this machine in a high volume cafe. If you have any more questions about this or any other machine, you can head to majestycoffee.com and our friendly staff is available via phone or live chat to help you make the right decision. And you can also find links to these machines in the description below. So before you leave, don't forget to like, comment if you have any questions, and subscribe to our channel here at Majesty Coffee, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for joining.